Hello, and welcome to Back to Basics with Roz. Today we'll be looking at dragon riding itself. What is it? Where can it be used? What are the abilities, the buttons you press, and the modifiers, or talents? How are those abilities and talents expressed while dragon riding? Finally, I'll give some pointers on the mechanics of dragon riding itself. There are some things that may or may not be obvious right away, and I want to point them out to hopefully smooth out any learning curve and clear up any confusion or frustration. Dragon riding itself is a new form of mountain travel that players have access to while on the Dragon Isles. At the time of the writing of this video, dragon riding is the only form of flight for a non drakthir while on the Dragon Isles. Yes, that means that dragon riding and the dragon riding mounts are only available on the Dragon Isles. In the distant future, I see it being possible that dragon riding could be included in the rest of the game, where flying is possible, of course. However, it will take some time. Give them the chance to introduce everything first. Alright, let's look at the abilities and talents as they are. The first one, and we'll be starting at the row at the very top, going from left to right. Uh, the first one is Dragon Riding Basics. This is a passive talent that, while falling from a high location, your Dragon Isle Strike extends its wings to propel you both forward. Pointing yourself downward grants more momentum. Evening out can transfer that momentum forward. Pointing yourself upward slows you down. When you're at your slowest, you'll start to fall slowly toward the ground. This is the talent that actually makes dragon riding possible. Uh, it's what grants the dragon riding mounts access to the physics of the dragon riding flight. Uh, you will also gain access to the following abilities. This is the first active ability. Surge forward. Flap forward. The second active ability is Skyward Ascent, which is flapping upward. I'll have more on Skyward Ascent later. Vigor is the second passive talent. Dragon Riding abilities spend Vigor. Spending time on the ground, whether mounted or dismounted, regenerates one Vigor every 30 seconds. This is the talent that establishes what Vigor is, in what state it recharges, and at what rate that recharge happens. This is the baseline for Vigor itself. Liftoff is the third passive talent. When you're mounted on a Dragon Riding mount, double jump to launch upward and start gliding forward. This talent allows you to press your jump button twice to take off. This does use one vigor though, as the double jump and skyward ascent are considered the same thing by your mount. Thrill of the Skies is the next passive talent. While dragon riding at high speeds, you generate one vigor every 15 seconds. This talent allows access to the in-flight vigor regeneration while at max speed. This talent gets better further down the tree. Winds of the Isles is a passive talent. You can detect and utilize gale winds that redirect your flight and propel you onward, boosting your speed in the direction of the gale. This talent allows you to see little whirlwinds or dust devils that will help boost your flight in the direction that the gale faces. Whirling Surge is the next active ability. Spiral forward a great distance, increasing speed. This ability, when used, causes you to do a barrel roll and shoot you forward really quickly. This ability also increases your speed to the max level until the use of the ability has completed. Bronze Time Lock is the final active ability. Mark a waypoint on your positional timeline. Use Bronze Rewind to rewind to this location. Before you take off, you can use this ability, which then changes to Bronze Rewind, to mark your current location uh, by a bronze colored time portal, a little swirly thing that sits right in front of you. Uh, take your flight. If you happen to miss where you were intended to go, you can use the Bronze Rewind to return you to the location you started, the one you marked with the time lock. 
it does not recharge your vigor though. So if you use it all up, you will still have to let it recharge before you can fly again. These seven abilities and talents form the basis of dragon riding. You will learn all of these after you complete the tutorial quest chain. It's just a couple little quests uh, that get you acquainted with what dragon riding is. The following talents on the tree modify these basic abilities and talents. Drake and Rider Training. Your vigor is increased to four. Pretty basic. Thrill Chaser. Thrill of the Skies generates one vigor every 10 seconds. This is a five second decrease in the amount of time it takes to recharge one vigor while flying at max speed. Dynamic Stretching. Your vigor regeneration rate is accelerated to one vigor every 25 seconds while grounded. Your vigor recharges five seconds faster when you're on the ground. Redirection. While moving at low speeds, surge forward's effectiveness is increased by up to 125%, decreasing as speed increases. While you're moving slow, surge forward boosts your speed more in the beginning, decreasing the closer you get to max speed. You must fill in the first two rows before row three unlocks on the tree. Onara's Gusts. Surge Forward evades Scale Chillers, Scale Chargers, and other obstacles encountered in time trials and races. It turns your Surge Forward into a defensive ability in Dragon Riding races. The next talent is a choice. It's up to you which one you'll, you would like more. Option A is Dragon Rider's Compassion. While airborne on a Dragon Isle Strike, you gain stacks of Dragon Rider's Compassion up to 10. When you dismount, you gain a shield worth 1% of your health and gain 1% movement speed per stack, lasting 30 seconds. This is a great choice if you're squishy and want a little extra protection when you dismount, or wish to grab a node and disappear before pulling a mob. Option B is Dragon Rider's Initiative. While dragon riding at middle speed and above, you gain stacks of Dragon Rider's Initiative, up to 10. When landing at mid to high speeds, you create a shockwave, damaging enemies for 425 per stack, split among them, and disorienting them for 3 seconds. Landing at low speeds cancels Dragon Rider's Initiative. This is a great choice if you're a sturdier class and can maximize the benefit of 3 second disorient. If you found my videos, Dragon Riding Glyphs and where to find them, the points needed to reach and fill in this choice talent, 16 points, are obtained after getting the Onara's Roost Glyph. Restorative Travels your vigor regeneration rate is accelerated to one vigor every 20 seconds while grounded. This is another 5 second speed increase to vigor regeneration while on the ground. Airborne Tumbling Whirling Surds evades wing shredders and dismounts airborne enemy players. It turns Whirling Surge into an offensive ability in PvP Dragon Riding. Dragon Riding Learner your vigor is increased to 5. Pretty basic. The next talent is another choice option. Option A is Dragon Rider's Cultivation. Gathering herbs or minerals increases your vigor recharge rate by 10% for 10 seconds. Picking flowers makes your vigor recharge faster for 10 seconds. It's a great choice for gatherers. Option B is Dragon Rider's Hunt. Defeating an enemy increases your vigor recharge rate by 10% for 3 seconds. This effect can only occur once every 10 seconds. This option is great for skinners. Every enemy killed makes vigor recharge faster for 3 seconds. If you followed my video Dragon Riding Glyphs and where to find them, you'll have just gotten the glyph at the ruins of Karnthar and will be at 33 of 48 points. The last three talents I present in the order I think they should be taken. 
but you, that is your choice, of course. At home aloft, the thrill of the sky generates one figure every five seconds. This talent is by far one of the most important talents to get. While you're at full speed, figures can recharge really fast and allows more continuous flight. In my glyph videos, I suggest spending glyph points on this talent once you reach the tier hold glyph location. This would leave you with three unspent talents. Beyond Infinity, your vigor is increased to six. Yearning for the Sky, your vigor regeneration rate is accelerated to one vigor every 15 seconds while grounded. Your vigor recharges five seconds faster while on the ground, making it 15 seconds instead of the original 30. I wanted to go over some tips that may help the first few flights and may help to clear up any confusion or frustration. The first two tips I have will point out some things about Skyward Ascent that are not covered in the tutorial quest chain, the tooltip, or skill tree text. The third one is more generic about dragon riding. The first tip with Skyward Ascent is that if you time using the ability just right, you can not only gain altitude, but speed as well. If you wait until just as the second flap of the wings finishes to use the ability again, you'll get that speed and altitude boost. Mastering this will be essential for long, continuous flights. The second tip is that if you use Skyward Ascent and try to move forward too early, it stunts your acceleration and distance traveled. If you continue to hold forward, yes, you will move, but you won't gain that speed or height boost. My final tip is about how dragon riding really works. Much like an airplane, the wings of your dragon are your control surfaces. If you point your wings down, you will gain momentum and recharge vigor, but you will eventually have to land. If you point your wings up, it will slow you down. If you point them up too far, you'll stall out and slowly float to the ground, unless you dive bomb to regain your momentum. Dragon riding is new, and will take some time to get used to in the beginning. Don't be disheartened if you don't get it right away. Practice, and it will become even more natural than regular flying. These are the abilities and talents available to everyone with dragon riding. There are a total of 48 glyphs, which equals 48 skill points, needed to fill out the talent tree. The last two talents, Beyond Infinity and Yearning for the Sky are nice to have, but not absolutely necessary as At Helm Aloft. If you're having trouble finding any of the glyphs, I recommend my videos, Dragon Riding Glyphs and Where to Find Them, with one video per zone and one easy to follow path through each one. I hope this information has revealed more of the finer points of Dragon Riding for you. I also hope it helps make those first few flights easier. If you found any of this information helpful in any way, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified of future Back to Basics videos. Thank you so much for watching.